outdoor passion is brought to you by Prince Craft, the spirit of boating. Williams Lures, trophy takers for over 100 years. Sport Chief, the legendary Canadian outdoor wear. And Rapala World Records, world class. The destination of the week is brought to you by Williams Lures, trophy takers for over 100 years. Shannon Lodge, one of the most attractive forest retreats in Quebec, is our host for this week's adventure. Situated on the eastern border of Lavarandre Park, this lodge has exclusive rights to 130 square miles of pristine Quebec wilderness. Within its boundaries is over 100 lakes, and only a fraction of them have ever been fished. With a strict fisheries management plan, the entire area and its waterways provide totally unpressured fishing rarely seen anywhere in North America. Ideal for a family vacation, long sandy beaches along with a wide range of outdoor activities await guests of all ages. The Shannon Lodge's area is very diverse. Its lakes, rivers, and streams offer a range of natural settings that could never be explored in one trip. Journeying along Quebec's Highway 117, we turn off the 117 for another 45-minute nature trip on a well-maintained road. Managed by the friendly Danny family, the main lodge has Lake Sagan as its backdrop. It's situated between Kabonga and Baskatong Reservoirs. Known as a top-notch resort, the main pavilion and its cabins have been designed so all guests have great views in a relaxed setting surrounded by pristine nature. Our day begins with Sylvain Denis, the co-owner and an outstanding guide. We'll also share the day with Celine Morin, a skilled angler in her own right. Counting Ray in the mix, we certainly have enough walleye experience to catch him. Being mid-season, our best chance to find aggressive fish should be on deeper structure. That's where we should find schools of the lake's bigger fish. Our Ray Marine unit is quick to pick up schools of walleye. We'll toss out a marker boy to keep us focused. They seem to be a bit spread out. We're planning on moving around this whole area trying to pick off fish. Walleyes are spooky even here, and being stealthy can help your success. Setting the anchor on the spot will not disturb them too much. They can shut off if you're too noisy. They're not used to having fishermen on the lake. Celine loves bright plastics. She usually likes to mix orange or chartreuse with black. You can never go wrong by slow jigging. Celine dropped her bait to the bottom and gave it subtle lifts. Walleye love to eat it as the bait falls back to the bottom, so keep a semi-tight line. Sometimes they'll whack the jig and other times it's just a bump it. Most typical walleye structure hold fish here. It's even easier using the Sagan and Linote contour maps. They can be downloaded from the Outfitters website so you can be prepared before you arrive. Walleye between 14 and a half to 21 inches long are keepers here. Too bad for Celine. This one is too long. <laughs> Shannon's Lodge maintains fabulous fishing partly due to numerous spawning sites and their progressive management practices. 
Exceptional habitat and a large amount of bait ensures walleye grow thick. Our search continues as we work the edge along a rocky bottom that gradually slopes down towards a deep basin. I got one. Yeah, it's a nice one. With so many fish here, we're into them when our baits hit bottom. Another great walleye comes to the boat. Mixing jig colors while maintaining good boat position will keep us busy all day. Yes! Oh, yes! Yes! Way. yes sir. Oh, wow. Visiting anglers are encouraged to explore. Keep in mind that low light periods, both early morning and evenings, are always top trophy walleye times. During your stay here, this is the kind of memorable photographs you can expect. Oh, sir, what? This walleye weighs over 11 pounds, but the average is between 2 to 3 pounds. All these big girls have to go back to keep this fishery at its prime. Midday already. Hard to keep track of time with action this good. Never leave when they're biting, but we're starving. Time to head back to the main lodge to enjoy some fine cuisine. From breakfast through lunch and supper, they serve a range of hearty meals to suit any angler's tastes. It's rare to have food of this quality in a place that has fishing this good. Their chef put a lot of thought into his work and we're glad he did. Let's eat. Cheers. Cheers. To our great fishing week. Yes. Shannon yes. Lodge. In the warm atmosphere of the dining room, we enjoy the fine food and reflect on this amazing place. Our third stop brings us on a shallow, rocky reef which is reminiscent of our best smallmouth structures back home. Under the right conditions, big walleyes hunt up shallow. Schools of log perch has drawn in the big guys from the adjacent deep water. Fish up. Fish? Oh yeah. Here we go. This is definitely not a small fish. The pressure's on, trying to keep this one out of those jaggy rocks. Take your time, Sylvie. Don't miss this fish. It's a big one. We found this mega walleye just around the corner from the lodge. It's not uncommon to race from one end of the lake to the other. It's easy to drive right over the fish trying to get to another spot. If there are standards for successful fishing, it's patience first and the best presentation, like tying the correct lure at the best depth according to the day and how bright the sun shines. The lodge's lakes are underfished and harbor some true giants. Each year, anglers who spend time here are rewarded with some truly big walleyes. Many, many big females are released in these waters every season to keep this trophy fishery. We kept a few walleye for a shore lunch and the dinner bell just rang. 
time to head in and get the frying pans ready. After a productive morning, we're eager to savor freshly caught fish while standing in Quebec's glorious wilderness. This enchanting sight is just what we needed, a break from the fishing, a chance to stretch our legs as we eagerly await to eat. Lunch should be ready soon and we'll be back in the boat in no time. Our clever guide transforms our morning catch into a spectacular meal. Nothing beats the old Canadian shore lunch. We are blessed to be here. Freshly fried fish, friends and fabulous scenery like this is all that's needed. It's easy to see why Shannon Lodge gets so many repeat guests. This area's shallow bays and deep water basins make it ideal habitat for another Canadian classic, the Northern Pike. Pike love cruising shallow weedy bays and the outlets of slow moving rivers and streams. Pike fishing is good here. It's really, really good. A lot of Americans just come for the pike and skip the walleye. Join the anchor! Oh boy. That's what we were looking for. Yeah, wow. big pike. Big pike, Moby pike. Hey, yeah! Hey, hey, hey. hey voila! Oh, that nice. Monster pike. Is there enough room oh, in the yes. boat for this monster? This giant just couldn't resist a William's spoon. The quality of the pike here can rival lodges of the far north. Oh my god! We hooked up with this guy as he was prowling the weed beds in the middle of the bay that is fed by a small stream. Certain bays are just thick with pike. If the cover is thick and bait fish plentiful, it can be a pike almost every cast. Again, the lodge's strict catch and release policy makes this a fishing haven. This one is going back. Pike this size are a blessing and need to be set free. The funny thing is that we might even get a bigger one. With most larger pike released, you just never know how many monsters are swimming out there. Guest cabins cradle the main lodge. Both American and European plans are available. The facilities are nice and help make your stay here wonderful. Each cabin allows you to soak in the wilderness and just relax. The cabins are all comfortable with the luxuries of home. For those wishing to really get away from it all, a number of remote camps are available. Beds are comfy, so you'll be ready to do battle every day of your stay. The main lodge is spacious and warm, ensuring everyone in the family is catered to regardless of which outdoor activity they love. Trophies from decades past in the dining room have attracted the attention of Celine. One trophy walleye stands out as the goal of every visiting angler. Don't worry, big fish are just as plentiful as years back. The lodge has an intensive fish stock management plan that provides great fishing for years to come. After a few hours of searching, we think we found what we're looking for, and the fishing conditions are ideal. Overcast skies and a light westerly wind. The subdued light should have the big ones on the move and hopefully a bit hungry. We barely have time to net Sylvan's small walleye, then Selene announces she's into a big one. She might have just got her wish, a Shannon Lodge monster. Oh, 
If, if this is a walleye, this is a big one. Oh. Let, let's go. Oui. Okay. Okay. Oh, la la. oh yeah. Oh, oh. oh wow. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh wow. Oh, oh my god. Yep. Now that's a walleye. It's long like a pike. Fish this size are what dreams are made of. It's Celine's biggest ever. Wee. Yes. Your dream. Wee. Your dream come true. When a lake produces fish of this caliber, it confirms that the Shannon Lodge team is doing it right. Walleye of this size surprisingly can be light biters. Don't expect a giant strike. This one nibbled like panfish. Always be ready to set the hook even on the lightest of takes. We're more than willing to release this beauty for the next angler to come along. It far surpasses the legal 21 inches length. Walleye this size is why anglers from across the globe come to Shannon Lodge. Along with superb fishing, the lodge, the food, and the wilderness of Quebec make this a great destination for the hardcore angler or for a family getaway. The destination of the week was brought to you by Sport Chief, the legendary Canadian outdoor wear. Those blue walleye are impressive and those wild pike are something else to catch. Still lots more to come on Outdoor Passion. We'll be right back with the Novelty Minute as Outdoor Passion continues after this. Stay with us. After these messages, it's fishing with UV reactive spoons. Stay with us. For over 70 years, we've always believed that to own a boat is to live an adventure. So go ahead, take off, explore, rise above, find your way. Fish, go deep, push the limits of your playground, follow your instinct. We'll take care of the rest. Princecraft, the spirit of boating. On the wagon! Oh, on the moose! Genuine silver and 24 karat gold finishes reflect all available light farther and brighter. UV reactive, strike triggering, color pattern accents for more big fish. Williams and Moose Luck. Spoon feeding trophies for over 100 years. For over 50 years, Sport Chief established the highest industry standards for clothing, shoes, fishing, hunting, and outdoor accessories. Because Sport Chief knows what performs in the outdoors. Our innovative apparels ensures your total comfort. Created from ingenious concepts, enhanced with progressive engineering to protect you from the worst storms. They are long-lasting, waterproof, camouflaged, silent, breathable, and odor-resistant. Sport Chief, the best garments, shoes, and legendary accessories for the great outdoors. Check out SportChief.com. Welcome to Minnow King, how can I help you? Everything looks good. I'm friggin' starving, man. Been spawning all morning. Ugh, TMI, bro. What do you want? I'll take a Crush City Freeloader and Gizzard Shad. Anything to drink. Water. Pull ahead, please. Welcome to Minnow King. We're gonna have what he's had. Yeah, throw me in a Ned BLT, too. Pull ahead, please. Calm down, quit feeding so much. I mean, I'm trying to, man. If you, if you, if you overfeed him, he's gonna hide under a log. For over 70 years, we've always believed that to own a boat is to live an adventure. So go ahead, take off, explore, rise above, find your way. Fish, go deep, 
push the limits of your playground. Follow your instinct. We'll take care of the rest. Princecraft, the spirit of boating. The Novelty Minute is brought to you by Princecraft, the spirit of boating. Time now for the Novelty Minute and look at this big boy. So this is the same color that you used to catch the 25 pound rainbow. Exactly. The first time I used this new UV color, I caught a 25 pound rainbow. We can see the footage, what a fight. It's a fish of a lifetime. So I was skeptical at first, but after catching this fish, I can tell you that UV colors really work. You know, uh, even rocket scientists are working on lures now. We first had the fluorescent lures, then the phosphorescent lures, which are glow in the dark. Now we have the UV lures. You see in the packaging UV, it means they react to UV rays, which are much different in the light rays that we see, that we can see with the human eyes. So the, UV rays can be seen a lot further underwater. When the light ray disappears, the UV ray is still there, even in deeper water, so the fish can really see them. So that's why with the UV reactive lures, we can add more productivity to our lures because they can be seen further with more flash. Those UV lures can really gleam under low light conditions, stained waters, and in clear water, in really really deep water you will see a big difference so we have uh, certain colors that work much better in combination with a UV reactive lure so we have the yellow and orange this is a great color combination it creates a lot of contrast plus in the back you have genuine silver plating so this precious metal will add some flash to the UV effect and again it will bring a lot more fish to the net. And uh, this color is available on many William lures, including the new whitefish. You know, uh, big predators, they love to eat small whitefish. So this lure really creates what they're looking for. And also, uh, there is another pattern that is wonderful with UV reactive lure. It's called Fire Tiger. So you have orange, yellow, green plus some black accent this is the ultimate contrast with the uv effect plus the silver plating you have a killer lure for pike salmon trout bass and this pattern is available also on the new uh, williams wobbler in different sizes and two other patterns that i like a lot in uv lures is orange silver so this is a great uv combination orange fluorescent orange i mean with the precious metal the silver and uh, it's also available in chartreuse silver which again is a great uv combination you got the uv effect on the chartreuse color which is like yellow or fluorescent yellow these two patterns are available on the new williams bully which is a heavy lure you can fish deep with this lure you can even do some jigging with your lure or just cast it out across the river it's a heavy weight lure and if you're using non-uv lures well i recommend to use the blue color because blue is the last color to disappear in deep water so it can be seen again a lot further and these three colors are available in the bully so uh, i think with these the poor fish, they don't stand a chance. I don't think they do at all. <laughs> and now with enhanced visibility on your side, it's time to learn some deadly tactics with our technical segment. To make an impression in today's world, you really have to do something special. And that's what Rapala has done with Crush City, their new soft plastic lineup. Decades of knowledge, design, and smart injection technology have been poured into the creation of Crush City lures. When we got these baits, we tried them out and they lived up to the hype. They all produced terrific action. There's no doubt, our success proves Crush City soft plastics are top notch. If you're after panfish or trophy size walleye or even lakers, there is a model perfect for what you're fishing for. 
Last season, we made a discovery. The scent rich baits have a huge impact compared to other lures. We've caught a wide assortment of fish from top game fish or bottom feeders. We've caught numerous brown bullheads on these plastics. Something that's never happened to us before. It must be the strong scent that attracts them. Once you crack open a bag, you'll be surprised how pungent the Crush City soft plastics are. They're loaded with scent. Scent-infused lures ensure they get noticed. They will keep their smell and taste right till the last cast. Each bait is made from a unique tear-resistant formula that is durable but still offers supple, lifelike movement in the water. We put these baits through their paces. Fish after fish and re-rig after re-rig. These baits stay true. Nothing is indestructible, but these come close. The beauty of them is that they remain soft and easy to rig regardless of hook or jig design. Rapala has their own secret. Each bait is created from Super TPE, a very durable yet soft textured material. An added plus is that it makes these baits buoyant, keeping it hovering just as natural as the real thing. Early season or late into the fall, these baits remain perfect regardless if it's freezing or scorching summer heat. Even ice fishing guys have been doing really well with them. Don't forget to keep them in their own package to keep them soft, fresh, and full of scent. They are available in an array of great colors. Rapala has even created specific models specifically geared towards our big northern game fish. Rapala's Crush City are available in many fish catching styles in a wide range of colors. This line of soft plastic is perfect for everyone from the beginner to the tournament anglers. You owe it to yourself to try these new baits. You'll be amazed how well they fish. After these messages, great tips on how to tangle with Mr. Big Pike, right after this. For over 70 years, we've always believed that to own a boat is to live an adventure. So go ahead, take off, explore, rise above, find your way. Fish, go deep. Push the limits of your playground. Follow your instinct. We'll take care of the rest. Princecraft, the spirit of boating. On the wagon! On the moose! Genuine silver and 24 karat gold finishes reflect all available light farther and brighter. UV reactive, strike triggering, color pattern accents for more big fish. Williams and Moose Luck. Spoon feeding trophies for over 100 years. For over 50 years, Sport Chief established the highest industry standards for clothing, shoes, fishing, hunting, and outdoor accessories because Sport Chief knows what performs in the outdoors. Our innovative apparels ensures your total comfort, created from ingenious concepts, enhanced with progressive engineering to protect you from the worst storms. They are long-lasting, waterproof, camouflaged, silent, breathable, and odor-resistant. Sport Chief, the best garments, shoes, and legendary accessories for the great outdoors. Check out sportchief.com. Welcome to Minnow King, how can I help you? Everything looks good. I'm friggin' starving, man. Been spawning all morning. Ugh, TMI, bro. What do you want? I'll take a Crush City Freeloader and Gizzard Shad. Anything to drink? Water. Pull ahead, please. Welcome to Minnow King. We're gonna have what he's had. Yeah, throw me in a Ned BLT, too. Pull ahead, please. Calm down, quit feeding so much. Hey, man, I'm trying to, man, if you, if you, if you overfeed him, he's gonna hide under a log.
For over 70 years, we've always believed that to own a boat is to live an adventure. So go ahead, take off, explore, rise above, find your way. Fish, go deep, push the limits of your playground, follow your instinct. We'll take care of the rest. Princecraft, the spirit of boating. Outdoor passion and the pike, beautiful and soft on the outside, mean and violent on the inside. That's why they call them the mean machine. They're always looking out for injured prey fish. That's why I recommend that we use blood red or red hooks because for them it's more contrast and also it's a bleeding injured prey fish. So when they see that color, they will think it's an easy prey. And you know the pike are predators, they have a territory. And on slow days when they're not very hungry, try a black plastic lizard on a weedless jig and just cast it out in front of them. You'll see a very violent reaction and you're gonna see the surface of the water boil with moving fish. You know, it's really exciting to see this type of uh, reaction from a big pike. So the pike hits so quickly and so violently. How do you set up your rod? Well, first of all, you need a very heavy action rod with strong braided line and a steel leader because they have very sharp teeth like a shark. Well, they are a freshwater shark and uh, very sharp hooks, but your hooks must be barbless. It makes catch and release fishing much easier because we are fishing on catch and release lake. That's why the fishing is so good. Every pike we catch are released. The drag setting on your reel has to be really set correctly because sometimes a big pike can come from under the boat and attack your lure and then you have to be ready because it could break your rod. You never know when a big pike will hit or where it will hit. They're very fast, exciting and violent. So on your next outing, Andrew, try big pike fishing. You'll see this is very, very exciting. I'm going to. Thank you for joining us on Outdoor Passion. Hope you learned something this week and hope you get a chance to get out in the great big outdoors this week and try it. And remember, if you do, try to leave things just a little bit cleaner than when you found them. We'll see you next time on Outdoor Passion. Outdoor Passion was brought to you by Rapala World Records, World Class, Prince Craft, the spirit of boating, Sport Chief, the legendary Canadian outdoor wear, and Williams Lures, trophy takers for over 100 years. For more information or to contact us, visit our website at www.outdoorpassion.tv.